Hey guys, welcome back to Mercedes Lounge. Today we have it. This is a 2021 AMG GT53 four door coupe. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all the exterior features of this brand new GT53. Take a look at the interior and also listen to the sound from the engine. Now, the exterior color of this GT53 is the graphite gray metallic, and on the interior, he looks gorgeous. It has the red pepper exclusive Napa leather. Let me show you guys. Take a look at that. Before we jump on the inside, let's take a look at the exterior of this GT53. Now, beginning with the side profile, let's take a look at the tires. It's sitting on these 21 inch rims. These are the AMG Y spoke rims, AMG forged. Size on the front tires 275 35 R21, right here. Also the brake calipers, you have these grey AMG branded grey calipers and those rotors are absolutely massive. The front brakes are slotted as well as drilled to provide for cooling of these brakes. Sitting on Michelin tires, moving back on this perspective, it has the Turbofomatic Plus emblem on the side, chrome door handles on the rear, let's take a look. At the size on these tires 31530 R21 again those AMG forged Y spoke rims and I think it looks absolutely magnificent on the side here it has those broad broad hips on the rear you have those magnificent LED tail lamps now let's take a look at the trunk space It has quite a bit of room in the back here. You have sound systems and speakers and accessory lights. You have your AMG floor mats right here. And it has this subwoofer right here. Very, very good quality, if I might say. And then right here you have the cargo cover, prevents your luggage from getting too hot in the sun. Let me move back here so you can really take a look at how this car opens up. That's really the perspective. On the trunk, you have the retractable wing. Wow, wow, take a look at the rear exhausts. These are the black chrome tailpipes, circular chrome tailpipes. On the rear, you have a very distinct rear diffuser, not as aggressive as the GT63S or the GT63, but decent nonetheless. You have some Mercedes bumperettes for your license plate, AMG branding on the left, GT53 on the right hand side, and uh, love these LEDs. They wrap around from this side to the other side of the car. Side profile, retractable wing looks like a jet plane and the chrome door handles this car does have the amg night package which offers you these high gloss black elements around the window the, the window surrounds ton of black elements same as right here on the turboformatic plus sign right there same deal down here you have this high gloss black element right here which flows along the side of the car. And I think it makes it look very aggressive and mean as well. The rear brakes, gray brake calipers with the AMG branded brakes. The rear brakes are perforated as well. Sitting on Michelin tires. Now, let's take a look at the rear seating on this GT53. You cannot tell me this is not the best leather you've seen before. This is the Red Pepper exclusive Napa leather. Rear door, carbon fiber inserts. Burmester high-end speaker system. You have some storage down here. On the interior, you can actually sit two adults back here. It looks very, very menacing as well from this perspective. Love this leather, feels very good. 
but on the black you have the red contrast stitching the rear seats feel like bucket seats you have two cup holders at the center some storage and a ton of usb accessories that are right there also you do have some storage behind each seat i think it looks good and i bet you guys will agree on that let me jump inside and see how much leg room there is so back here it's very comfortable i love the headrests they are not detached it's the same headrest with the main seat in the back there is quite a bit of leg room right here about two inches two and a half very very comfortable seats from the back here headroom is also decent about two and a half inches above my head and that's more than enough up here you have reading lights and also the coat hanger right here at the center you have two circular air vents which have this turbine looking design and they swivel in in any direction 360 degrees down here you do have some storage and uh, a cigarette lighter right here 12 volt charger and the 5 volt as well now let's jump on the front and take a look right off the bat you notice one thing these are frameless doors the window is retracted all the way down driver side door you have carbon fiber inserts on the door panel here memory seating one two three you also have heated cooled and ventilated seats right here all right engaged gear Now let's start with this interior look of this GT. I'm gonna put it on park. Press this button right here. Goes on park. Press the brake down here. And stop the engine. On the interior you have carbon fiber inserts on the upper dash right here. The entire upper dash is also leather wrapped. Here you have the AMG Performance steering wheel right here which is flat bottom, also has the AMG badging right here. AMG drive unit is provided for right here with these knobs. So this is your dynamic select knob, which begins with the slippery mode. And as you switch, you can also see your dynamic select options change right here. So starting from the very top, you have slippery mode, individual mode, comfort, sport, and Sport Plus, which is what I love on this car. Also, you have functions and features right here on either side of this AMG Performance steering wheel. These functions here control your center display, while these functions on this other side control your digital instrument cluster at the front. Our cruise control is provided for right here. You have resume set. Your home button right here also brings up the ribbon with your many options, right? And you can switch it off right there this other controls right here you have your center display appearing right here if you press home you start from the left hand side for the menu for the phone media then you can just swipe left or right using this trackpad right here so as you swipe left or right the menus also change now mbux system is also fully touch screen look at that tons of options you have navigation radio media comfort track pace performance mercedes mia naps and settings now before we dive into the mbox system let's finish the interior look carbon fiber inserts on the upper dash very very high quality very premium material now down here you have your climate control system 
Now, as I switch temperatures, the ambient lighting actually goes up. So it turns red when you add temperature. If you reduce the temperature, it turns blue. Same as on the other side. If you add the temperature, it's red. If you turn it down, it's blue. These control knobs, very good quality. You also have this media button here, right here. If you press menu, that's what comes up. So your menu comes up from there. Center console, carbon fiber, good, good quality. Let's open it up. USB-C ports right here, cup holders over here. Tons of other features and options right here. Your hazard is over here. Also your favorites and telephone navigation. Let's go to navigation. That's your navigation. We'll look at that through the MBUX system. At the center, you have the trackpad, which provides you with haptic feedback like you would on a smartphone, all right? Also right here, you have these lights and ton of menu options right here. Your dynamic select is also provided for using this knob. So you can actually change it from right through here. If you go to the very top, you have slippery, which is a snowflake, individual mode, comfort, sport, sport plus. As well, you can press, go from manual mode to dynamic using that button. Suspension, you can also adjust it from here. Comfort to Sport to Sport Plus. Traction control off via this button. Also, your media button is right here. You can add your volume, reduce your volume. Eco is provided for right here. If you want to save some fuel, you want to make sure you use that. And right through here, you do have retractable wing options are right here, and then your exhaust system. Your engine button is right here, and then that display, magical displays, large touch screen display, very vibrant as well. Ton of information, as you can see right here. All right, let's take a look at the MBUX system, which is also fully touch screen and you can also control it using this trackpad down here. So let's go to home. You have your phone option, which allows you to connect up to, you have your phone option. You can connect up to two devices. You also have your navigation systems, which offers you 3D maps as well. If you go into this gear icon, advanced map orientation, you can select 3D North. So you have 3D maps if you go back all the way. Also, you have the radio option right here. You have Sirius XM, FM and AM. You have media, which you have Bluetooth and USB connectivity, comfort. You have seat kinetics, seat heating balance and reset, which means as you drive, the seats contour to your body on the side for lumbar support and the base of the seat for your driver and passenger. The track pace, you can only use this on race tracks, so they tell you to just not to use that because it amps up your performance on this car. So you have your track race, you have drug race, telemetry, and all the other options. We need the car to be on for that. Performance. Now with the performance, you can take a look at your vehicle metrics, your engine, your performance, as well as your torque, fuel consumption, and also your dynamic select, which is where you can configure your individual configuration. Let's go back to home. You have Mercedes Me and apps and settings. Now right here for quick access, you have your shortcuts. You have your vehicle assistance, camera and parking, you have traffic sign assist, lane keeping assist, active brake assist, attention assist, and traffic light view, as well as active blind spot assist, active lane change assist, and your traffic light information. 
as well as route pace speed guidance. Tons of options actually in terms of driver packages, so it's fully loaded. If you go into vehicle, you can look at your automatic seat adjustment with the steering wheel and the seat. They adjust as you get in and out for easy access. You have seat belt adjustment, which means how tight or loose you want to have your seat belts. Acoustic lock, automatic door lock, automatic folding of your side mirrors, gas station search. So tons of vehicle options. Lights. This is where you have your ambient lighting, 64 colors to choose from. Tons of colors for every mood and every day of the week, so to speak. So let's pick a color. I'm going to set it to this deep red. Actually, let's give it some contrast. I'm going to set it to green. So if you see right here, you have the green color behind these displays. You can have that. Now let's go back. You can adjust your brightness. You have exterior light delay, which is how long you want your lights to be on when you leave the car. You also have interior light delay, daytime running lights for your LED at the front, locator lighting. So if you're in a large parking, you want to find your car, that's an option to use. If you want to find your car, it's going to flash. Let's go back to home. One menu I have not looked at, if I go up all the way to the top, you have your lights, which is also your ambient lighting and all the other options. System. This is where you have designs and displays, which means at the touch of a button, you can adjust all your, all your displays. Let's go with the classic look, see how that looks. So you have blues on the classic look. Let's go with the sport look, which is more of an AMG uh, theme. Super sport is really the race theme as well. Kind of looks like sport, but it has more metrics. So those are your options on this MBUX system on this GT53. Down here, you have themes. If you select the trip theme, it changes all your displays. It's more of a trip-focused theme, which means if you want to travel, you want to have your navigation right here and all your other metrics for your trip, meaning fuel consumption, EQ boost, and charging for the car. Because this car is a 3-liter inline-6, turbo engine with EQ boost. So there is a 48 volt motor on the engine itself, which gives you a ton of torque and power whenever you need it. Now let's go back down here. You can have the lounge. Now the lounge theme is more of uh, entertainment focused, which means just you want to listen to music and relax. The other theme that I think I love is the experience theme which is more of the AMG performance theme, all right? Which gives your vehicle, your engine, your consumption. Uh, this is really a tech fest on this GT53 2021. Let's swipe up. You can also customize your own theme. So you can pick different options, different menus with what you like and load those up as well. Now let's go back. Underneath each of these icons, you have shortcuts. So, for instance, if you click on this, it's going to take you to a track. We don't need that right now. Also, go into settings, so you have all these shortcuts. So, that's a brief look at the MBUX system, which is Mercedes's flagship user experience infotainment system. And that's the look right here in the cabin. These are very good quality seats with the Red Pepper exclusive. The headrests are also good quality. You can see the AMG branding right here. And then on the roof up here, you have other options. So you have your light controls. You can tell when your doors are open or not through that light system. These are your reading lights. They're up here. Also, you have your SOS button right here. And you have a compartment up here for, for your sunglasses. So you can store those here. You have sun visors good quality sun visors you have another sun visor right here also good quality with the light 
and there is a speaker right here for your voice activated systems. At the front here you have your glove compartment which you can have your reading material or any other your insurance information anything you want to store goes into the glove compartment it's actually deep enough as you can see you have circular air vents on either side with the 64 color ambient lighting flowing through the cabin you have some one on the other side and then you have these four circular air vents which provide you the maximum amount of airflow and they swivel in, a, in any direction, 360 degrees. Up here, leather wrap dash, which has the red contrast stitching. We have airbag systems right here. And that flows all the way to the other side. Puddle shifters right here, your downshift and your upshift is on the other side. The control here are good quality does not feel like cheap plastic at all and this knob right here lowers your steering wheel as well if you're too tall your light controls are down here so right now the lights are on they're off your parking brake is right here you have these performance pedals and then the quality you can see on the circular air vents AMG carbon fiber all around very premium GT53 and then your gear lever take a look at that feels very solid good quality with the uh, falter bark insignia at the top your parking is right here reverse neutral drive right here you have storage NFC charging USB-C ports as well this is a view from the front at the rear seats. These are very good quality seats. And then down here you have your cup holders and some storage in the back as well. You have car seat hooks, which you can find from back there. Very good quality. You can see the AMG branding right here on this seat. Uh, also on the other seat right here and the red pepper leather looks very exclusive now let's go to the front and uh, take a look at the engine 3 liter inline 6 turbo engine audio jungle Audio Jungle.
front perspective very aggressive look led package for the lights and then at the front here you have this very aggressive Pan-Americana grille with the vertical slats. Active distance destroying it goes right here. And then the front splitter ever so menacing with the active air intakes right here. You can see the louvers are actually open down here. And uh, those are very, very vibrant lights on this GT53. On the hood of the car, you have the AMG power domes right here.